nets, uh, just talking about fireball traps, dealing with characters with fireballs, how to improve your into your game as a fireball character or zoner, and how to deal with those freaking annoying guile players that everyone hates. Uh, sorry if you're a guile player. <laughs> if you're a guile player, this video will help you get a lot better too, okay? So I'm putting my timer on now, and then we're gonna start the video, okay? So let's start. So one thing I didn't know a lot of players struggled with, or I guess was not as common knowledge, and then I'm gonna preface this video by saying, if you don't know anything about frames at all, it's probably not a good video for you. It's probably, it's probably video is probably for players who are more familiar with frames. But if, it's, if you don't know about frames and you do play the game at a decent level, then you probably can follow, okay? So, <clears throat> characters like Ryu, right? Ryu has this fireball, right? Look at this, he has three different speeds, see? And they all kind of recover around the same, they all kind of recover the same, oh uh, shit. Uh, the same speed, excuse me, there we go. Okay, so um, what makes them different? The different speed, but look, when, when, when I throw one from here, the slow one, I can dash up, and then around the time that I finish my dash, he just finished blocking the fireball, okay? Right, and then if I do the fast one, and I do it from here, right, it's not really the same, okay? It's, it's different by just just a few frames, but it's, this is very important for the next, for the next thing we're talking about, uh, talk about. So, um, <clears throat> basically, uh, if you're familiar with frames, then you know things are punishable or not, right? But you're gonna do the plus or minus. This is minus, right? This is plus. That's plus, I think. <laughs> this is minus, okay? Or plus, I don't know. You get know what I'm saying? You know, things are punishable. This is this is punishable, okay? So the same thing applies for fireballs. This fireball is minus six or seven, right? Up close, because as soon as he finishes the animation, you block it. As soon as he finishes doing this, this fireball, you're blocking it, okay? But it's not punishable from here. This is safe. This is probably even plus, okay? Right, so what this means is when I say it's plus, it's you recover before your opponent, okay? So that means you can do this, and if they jump after, you can anti-air, okay? Right, so let's watch, let's watch that, okay? Right, so you do this. Anti air, easy, right? Easy peasy. So, what is a fireball trap, and how does it help your anti air? Right. So, there's space things on the screen for different, and they change for every character. Any character that has multiple, that can, that can do more than one fireball at a time, can do this. Okay. <clears throat> so, and I add the preface by saying that because this character like Jury, who doesn't really get the same type of thing, but you know, any character that can do more than one fireball at a time gets a trap like this. Okay. Right. Okay, it's kind of hard for this character. <laughs> oh, shit. There it is. So that's a fireball trap. It's a spacing on the screen where if you jump, you block the first one, right? Wow, what are you here? If you block the first fireball and you jump the next one, if you neutral, if you jump forward, then you're going to get anti aired for free, okay? Now, why is this important? It's important that you play fireball characters because you want to stand here. You want them to block this fireball. You want this free damage, okay? And if they don't jump over the fireball, they're gonna keep getting chipped out and, and eating 10 damage at a time, which might not seem important, right? But 10 damage over the course of a whole match over and 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 over, and over again. It's actually a lot of damage. It's really frustrating to deal with, okay? So you might be wondering, okay, well, what do you do, right? So this, you're, this will help both the person playing the zoner and fighting the zoner. You want to neutral jump, back jump, or forward jump, okay? Forward jump is riskier, but there is a reason you want to do that, okay? If you're neutral jumping, right? Put you in neutral jump. Okay, and you, I throw a fireball, and I read it, I can dash forward and any air, okay? So if you can just... Oh, All right, if I can get him to jump over the fireball, See, I can do that. That is a thing you can do, or a high-level player will do, okay, to you, if you're neutral jumping, okay? So that's when jumping forward will be handy or jumping backwards, all right? <clears throat> Usually, you want to jump neutral jump because it will keep your spacing. If you back jump, this is more useful for if you're a fireball character also. So if you're both in a fireball matchup like this one, back jumping can be useful to readjust your spacing, okay? But you don't really want to do it if you're geef, for example. You don't want to jump back because you're going to lose your spacing and then be farther away. It's going to be harder for you to get back in. Okay. Now, if you're still having trouble grasping the idea of this, right? Okay. Think about when you uh, 
throw a baseball and someone catches it, okay? Say you throw a baseball, someone catches it, and you throw it to them and they're point blank. They catch the ball instantly, okay? And they can move basically right after you can move. So you throw a ball and then you run. If they're right next to you, they catch the ball, they can run almost as soon as you can run, okay? But say you throw the ball and you're far away. You can throw the ball, run, and they still have to catch the ball and then run. So they're delayed. The same thing happens here. The jump is delayed. Okay. Well, I hit my, I hit my, my uh, time limit, but I'm going to hurry up and finish. The jump is delayed, which allows you to be so plus that you can throw the fireball and still anti on them. This is super important if you want to play Guile, if you want to play Sagat. It's important for Ryu, but Ryu's fireball is a little harder. It has more recovery, so it's a little harder to space it like that. But so you can do something like that. See, look. Free. So if you're new, or you're, or you're playing a zoner, and you feel like, how come when I throw my fireballs, I get jumped in on so much, and Tokido doesn't, you know? That is part of the reason why. That is part of the reason why Dai Daigo and Du and all these other high-level zoning players do not get jumped in on so much, okay? So I'm going to show you like a perfect example, and if you've played this game before, then you for a while, then I'm quite confident you've, seen, you've been in this situation, okay? All right, so look at this, look. So we're gonna block fireball, block fireball, block a fireball, jump, flash kick, right? What do you do, okay? So what you do is, if you can stop chucking me a fireball, you want a neutral jump or back jump. Neutral jump is better, but since we're in the corner here, we can back jump, right? So what that does is, he cannot throw a fireball while there is one on the screen, okay? So if you're playing with one that's really brain deading it, ooh, hold on, the, five, the timing changed. Actually, this is a different recording. Then you can neutral jump the fireball, and he can't really any. He won't have charge to flash kick you right there. Okay, you get to jump in, right? He cannot like Guile has to charge his flash kick. He does not have charge there. Okay. Similarly, if you're throwing a lot of booms, watch this really quick. I'm gonna show you. If you're throwing a lot of booms, hold on, wait. You know, or if the opponent's throwing a lot of booms, right? And you're right here. Okay. And they're doing that too. Great. Right? Once their fireball is still on the screen, they cannot throw another one. So what does that mean? Look, watch this. See that jab? That jab was a boom. But because his fireball was still on the screen, he couldn't do it. So you get to take advantage of that and you can maybe dash at him. You can jump forward, throw your own fireball walk forward, whatever your character tool your character has, then you can start to implement them there, okay? Especially if they're really brain editing it, okay? <clears throat> and so uh, there's a matter to that. So if, if the Guile player knows that you're going to neutral jump, they can just do a fireball, 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 and then when you neutral jump the next one, they can walk up to you and Annie. Remember the first example? When I said if you're playing against someone who's really good, they'll dash up to you. All right, and they'll punish you for neutral jumping that fireball because they know you're going to do it. So that's when the jumping forward, jumping backward is useful. But in the corner, your, your options are more limited because you're in the corner. So this is part of what happens with losing neutral. You're, once you're in the corner, you've lost neutral effectively. So you have less options, okay? So uh, that is part of what comes with that. Um, I hope this was useful or helpful. Um, it should really help you with your zoning. Uh, and also dealing with your opponent's zoning. If you don't understand something, or maybe watch the video back, you can see that is, these are fireball traps, right? So basically means if you block this fireball at this spacing, the next fireball is guaranteed and you have to jump, neutral jump or back jump, and if you forward jump, you're getting anti aired okay? The only way you don't get anti aired is if the opponent thinks you're gonna neutral jump and they overcommit, or they or they commit to anti airing not overcommit, but they commit to try to, trying to do something fancy to anterior you for neutral jumping, that is when your forward jump will not get anti-aired. Other than that, it is impossible. You are going to get anti-aired 10 out of 10 times. And so the only way to fix it, once you're in this situation, you are effectively screwed, uh, basically. And you definitely uh, need to adjust your spacing. So let's watch it again. You can back dash, right? This will help. See? That helps. You, you know, change your spacing. Walk forward. This helps. Look, walking forward, close the distance, and then, then you can jump. Or but if you're here, especially if your character's walk speed is especially slow, then you definitely have to neutral jump these fireballs. If you block, you are in trouble. Okay. So those are 
It's basically the best spacing your fireball can be is when there is a fireball trap. That is the best spacing. The next best spacing is like right here where they can't react. You know. But you really want to be in these spacings where. Okay, not, you know. It's a trap. Okay. So hopefully that's helpful. I'm going to try to do more videos like this. It didn't occur to me that people don't understand this concept <coughs> before. So now that I kind of understand that people do need help with these type of things, I guess I'll do more videos like this. Um, but yeah, I encourage you, if you play a zoning character, find the spacing where this works, right? And if you, even if you don't play a zoning character, right, know the spacing for, uh, for the zoners so that you can know, okay, if I block the fireball here, am I screwed or not? What are my options? If I block it here, what are my options? If I block it here, what are my options? If I neutral jump, what are my options? You want to know what your options are, and you want to know what the opponent's options are, especially when dealing with zoning, and especially if you're really frustrated. Because I know Guile and, and you know, Ryu and Sagat can be really frustrating when you're newer, so, or even when you're, I mean, Guile, child. <laughs> Guile's frustrating anyways, but especially if you don't know what's happening here, that can be very irritating. So hopefully this was help, helpful for you. And if it wasn't, let me know how I can make it more clear for you. Message me on Twitter at Princess underscore Slim. Uh, and then I'm going to be out. This video will be on YouTube if you have any questions. Uh, I, I answer my comments because I don't get that many. So let me know. All right. Bye, guys.